Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to go back old school in this video, just do the pure technical analysis. I want to really talk you through the harmonic pattern that we were trading uh, and I want to talk you through obviously the swing failure pattern that we saw at the lows and then moving on to what's happening here. Is this a short squeeze? Where is this likely to stop? You know, what trades are there available here? Um, so I'm not going to be, you know, going off the hinge, uh, bragging about my trades or anything like this. We're just going to, you know, do the do the technical analysis. That's what you love. That's what you're here for. So let's just do that together, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly do think that you're going to love the video. So um, without further said or do, let's get into the technical analysis. So, um, yeah, first of all, I want to, you know, give you the education of what was going on down here, what was, you know, the harmonic that we were aware of at the time, and obviously, where did this come from? So I will add on, so you can see, obviously, this currently is a local range based off of the volume, so I'm going to hide that temporarily, and we'll add on the harmonic here. Okay, this is obviously an A, it obviously starts with X, comes down to A, comes down for B, comes up for C, and obviously ends down here at D. And this is obviously really ending with a swing failure pattern. So if you mark out the low of X, you know, you can see you very, very, very slightly take the low of X there for a swing failure pattern, obviously, of the greater harmonic. Um, you know, obviously at the time I was looking at a Gartley, this has ended in a butterfly, for me, the harmonic name is kind of irrelevant. The the setup is the same off of it, and it was really a you know swing failure pattern. But we'll go through that in a little bit more detail as we progress. Obviously, it all started with the point C, and you you well you remember this if you were, if you were online at the time. Obviously, uh, we had the magic eagle level. We had you know which literally was thirty nine thousand one hundred. Uh, we had obviously the you know breakout of the um, symmetrical triangle that people were getting bullish on. But for us, it was really simply a case of, you know, this is a prime opportunity to short, um, you know, and for the reasons why, well, you were running up into, you know, confluence factors, really, in technical reasons. Okay, obviously, coming into your higher term time frame trend lines, coming into your harmonic potential setup targets, you're coming into your NPOCs, and, you know, Eagles and Levels himself, you know, so you're seeing like reasons, technical reasons to short there. Obviously, this is one that we were prepared for, and obviously it went really well. And then you start to make your way down, okay? So you start to make your way down, and this is really where you do not want to be going long too early, okay? Because you obviously, if you, you're longing here, you lose money, you're longing here, you lose money, you're longing here, you lose money, you're longing here, you lose too much, you know, you, you have to wait, you know, you really have to wait for the reaction, just like on the way up here, you know, if you're shorting too early, you're going to you're gonna lose money, essentially. And I, and I refer to this, obviously, I'm not not talking about scalp trades, yeah, you could have taken many longs on the way down here and many shorts on the way up here that are profitable, you know, quick time frame trades. I'm, I'm obviously not referring to scalp trades here. I'm referring to people trying to get into their swing trades, you know. You have to time your entries very well because otherwise, you know, you're going to lose too much money longing and then when the, when the final long comes, you're, you know, you've decided enough's enough, I'm not taking it. And the same on the short, you could have already tried to short this, let's say, like five times and then when the short comes, you say, oh, I'm not going to take this now. Um, that's why you really got to, you know, time your entries essentially. And obviously, as we were coming down there, this is a funny one. I was like chilling on 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 Twitch, like playing Call of Duty on 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 Twitch, and it's just like, you know what? I have no interest in in trying along this yet. Why? Because I'm after my still after lower. I'm still after the the Gartley, which was obviously what I was typing on stream. Is you know. It's dropping heavily now, yeah, and this is obviously back on the, uh, the you know, the 7th at, at 10 p.m. So we were dropping here, and it's just like, I was it's just like, you know, this this doesn't interest me yet. That We've had zero confirmation. We have, there's just no reason to, to be thinking, oh my God, we need to long this, yeah? So it's it's it really all comes down to that case of having the plans for the, for the you know, for the shorts, and then having the plans for the longs. And um, then really waiting for that, you know, you could say step of confirmation, step of, you know, what triggers are you waiting and looking for um, to determine, okay, now I'm going to enter, now I'm, you know, now I'm not going to enter, okay? Obviously, it all comes down to 
um you know this is this is the harmonic if you you know are not aware this is obviously the harmonic that i was you know been training from now for quite a while obviously since actually put in the low of b um you know, we were waiting for this move up to around, you know, that 39,000, uh, 40,000 region for this short off of C, which obviously in the end did come uh, very, you know, pretty nicely in the end. And then obviously it was waiting for the drop. So, you know, this is a harmonic that I had foreseen very, very, very early on, you know, waiting for the rise for the short, waiting for the drop for the longs. Okay. And this was obviously based off of the harmonic. This trend line here is actually a high term time frame trend line. Okay, so this is a pretty important trend line. This is based off of Elliott Waves. And, you know, so we had Elliott Wave trend lines. We had, uh, you know, the harmonics coming together. So you can see how we have formulated a plan here very early on of we want to short, you know, the, 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 the breakout of the triangle. And then we want to long the, the also breakdown of the triangle, you know. So you can see how we're playing not only the harmonics and the Elliott Ways, but also the psychology that's running through the market. We are essentially, we can recognize people are going to want to long the breakout of C and people are going to want to short the breakdown here of D. And we're looking for shorts up here and we're looking for longs down here. Why? Well, because of the technical analysis uh, and obviously playing on the emotions of the market. I might be going on a little bit here, but I truly feel this is like needed to explain. OK, so this is a post from my group. I've done three posts in my group of, in the day. I try and keep my I only really try and post in the group when it's when it's really needed, you know, or there's a bit of you know panic going on. And so obviously we were dropping during the day. This was back on the 8th, of course. And this first post was from 11 a.m. This post was obviously from the trading updates. And then this final post that I gave was at uh, 3 30 UK time. And it's like I was saying, the, the first update that I gave in the trading updates that I do, it's like, you know, we, we know this is a long zone. Yeah, we, we know that this is the place that we want to long, but we need to see the market structure change or some absorption. So obviously at the time that was in the morning, we had neither. So I'm not going long yet and I'm still holding on to my shorts. So I knew, you know, this is where you need to understand. I knew the longs were to be had around 30,000, you know, really 30 $30,000 to $32,000. This is the place where we really want to long. And, and like I was saying, I made it pretty evident on Twitter. Like it's, you know, you are very, very, let's just say you're very inexperienced if you are looking for shorts down here. Like even just, just, just it blows, you know, you know, it's just kind of crazy when you think about it, you know, <laughs> up at sea, everybody's looking for, for longs. And it's like, you know, this is never the place you look for longs. And it's like, you know, now it seems really easy in hindsight, yeah, and everybody, I'm sure everybody's, you know, suddenly long the lows here, but we were making it very evident, like, in the day, this was a game posted at 11 a.m., it's like, you know, if, if you are even thinking about shorting here, I, I truly kind of feel sorry for you, because, well, you get, well, I guess I don't really feel sorry for you in that regards, because you need to, you need to take the pain to understand what went wrong, I suppose, but I hope you learn from it, I guess, and, um, <laughs> you know, welcome to chart champions if you need some help. But, um, you know, at that time, I, I knew this was a long reach and I knew there was no shorts, but I still had to wait. I had to wait for the confirmation because at that time, obviously, you know, hovering around 3.30 in the day where I'd done the final update, it's like, you know, there, there is still no long set up here. And obviously then it came at 4.30. Okay. So when we zoom into the charts a little bit here, we'll come down to the one minute because it was pretty, pretty nice one. Uh, on the one minute chart, you can see here, so this was obviously, uh, this is the value area low, and this also coincides, I'll mark it on the chart for you, this also coincides with this, da -da 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 -da. so let's just, uh, media, let's hide this a second, let's see, we can add that on as the swing failure pattern, so if we just label this as swing failure pattern, of obviously the X of the harmonic and the medium time frame volume. And we can see very clearly that we had, you know, pretty good confluence here with the uh, value area low coming in with the swing failure pattern. You know, that's, um, you know, pretty nice confluence. If you're looking to trade a range, which we were, then value area low of the range with a swing failure pattern of the, um, you know, you want to build a higher low. Um, this video is going to go on way longer than what I wanted, I already can tell. Uh, which is, you know, um, 
you know, if you're a champion, you know the setup that I gave on Sunday, which was obviously a long setup based off of Degali, where we were literally going to be, you know, taking longs down here. We know we wanted to build a higher low off of the overall low of the range. So this is like the max opportunity you know you're risking a few percent for a potential you know like 30 percent gain so it's this is the max opportunity long because we we knew we wanted to build a higher low if, if you're a champion you you know what i'm all about here we wanted to build a higher low off of this you know this was the invalidation of the long setup that i gave you all and so building the higher low here off the value area low it maintains the range low builds another higher low stops everybody out that's built off of x and this is just like the max financial opportunity i suppose okay so obviously it came together really nice you had two opportunities in my opinion which offered you know fairly easy i want to say longs really obviously the first one would have been this retest here which you know put in the low at uh 31 to 80 or you obviously had a fairly you know i want to say very 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 safe long when you come back into here with your high higher low higher high higher low back into the old range changing market structure seeing the bounce off the lows you know this is just you know if you understand what i teach you this is literally what we're waiting for as the market structure changes you saw the absorption on the retest it's like this just you know if, if you understand the methods that we teach it's just it is along every single day of the week you know um so if it, obviously it all came together pretty nicely um to be honest with you and that obviously gave us the swing failure pattern into you know gartley slash we could we could refer to this as a butterfly harmonic uh i i still think that this is an acceptable gartley although we broke the low of x it was a swing failure pattern and this is a highly leveraged market but again the name is kind of irrelevant gartley or butterfly at the end of the day the setup is along and you know we 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 waited for the confirmation which in the end was that market structure change off of the value area low as you can see here we knew that 31 187 before it happened why because well i literally done the technical analysis on sunday for everybody in, in the group so you know we're already waiting for the low and like we said here you know what, what do we say to people that are shorting this low well i suppose thank you very much because you know really just aided filling uh, you know really aided filling <laughs> long positions um so yeah that that brings us up to now then where we are here okay so you can see where we are here well you might you might understand where we are here you might not understand um currently forming a little bit of a rejection where from the cc of the overall move so the high all the way down to the low you can see we're currently bouncing off of the cc zone okay so this is an intraday resistance this is only where i'd really say this is scalp traders uh, but just so you're aware you are, you know, currently as we're speaking, this could change by the time it's uploaded. It's an intraday local CC, but that's where you're bouncing or rejecting from currently. We can see the value area high of this range is coming in at about, you know, let's just say $39,688. Um, so this is currently range value area high. And if we're trading a range, well, what do you do? You look for longs at the low, shorts at the high, longs for low, shorts at the high, longs for low, shorts at the high, you know. Uh, if we break the range, then obviously we can move back up towards, you know, that thirty three thirty four thousand dollar uh, level. So you, you currently... You know, to give you a, an idea of where we are right now, we're at the intraday CC resistance. E.g., this is not the time to long, yeah? This is not the time to long. Um, you know, I, I don't mean to be mean when I'm saying these things, you know, on, on Twitter. I'm not, I'm not like being, I'm not trying to be mean, but, you know, when I say, you, you, you know, you're, you, you know, you're pretty, um, let's just say, silly if you're shorting down here. It's just like, who, who, who shorts at 32K? You know, this is just the awful time to short. And, and the thing is that people were like laughing at me and mocking me uh, at the time because obviously we hit like 31K and everyone's like, ha, 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 I told you to short. It's like, okay, okay, fair enough, mate. How did that end up? Um, and, and then, you know, my, my words are, uh, you know, repeated here, you know, longing here is just like, who, who, long, who longs here? you know who, who longs into this cc resistance um and who shorts down here it's like you know i digress because i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to talk about it but you know this is currently obviously cc resistance is, is, is it a massive resistance well we could we, we could really say no so it's an intraday level for sculpt so ultimately if we uh you know reject back here we can back test the point of control which should now be an sr flip obviously if we start to lose this it's a bit more bearish in my opinion but nevertheless few things to be aware of i suppose cc into this coming back into a bit of um, you know trend line resistance here 
with a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So you obviously have the potential for the lower high of the CC here. Uh, breaking through this, you know, you're going to be looking back up to the value area high slash, you know, back, back up to, you know, 44K region, uh, ultimately giving you a bigger range um, to trade. Yeah, so you had a symmetrical triangle and that symmetrical triangle obviously broke down. Where did it bring you to? It brought you to the range low simple as that really um and so now we've bounced off the range low we're into the cc of the range which is obviously a, a you know you don't not you know you know i'd be questioning why would you long here okay you want to see a retrace and uh ultimately if we break through the cc we can be looking back up towards the value area high slash the overall range high okay so the overall range high is obviously coming in around you know 43k so you know that, that in my opinion is what we have right now uh, going on okay this this is a short squeeze if you look at the open interest oh yeah i'll show you uh, you know i'll show you an example of a very 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 nice sculpt trade that you had today uh so this is you know another one which is just pretty nice so you, you come into the local cc local cc taking these lows while building really big uh, bullish divergences yeah so you were building the bullish divergences into the cc while taking these lows you know it's a pretty nice sculpt trade and obviously we've got a reaction off of that a nice healthy reaction but but what i was going to show to you all is is this is a massive short squeeze so from the low that we put in on the 8th of june uh the, the open interest obviously massively declined uh this this whole move is just a short squeeze um so you know this is why you have to be a bit careful like trying to short here and 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 short here you know at the end of the day this is a short squeeze so um you know you, you generally want to take a bit of care shorting like it's pretty pretty you know you, i think you all know this by now market structure um we're currently just building these higher highs and higher lows. So this was obviously another higher low onto the CC. So, you know, you can just keep building potentially these higher lows. So your next local CC is obviously coming, let's you know, just say, you know, you don't want to get, you want to give it a bit of space. So I would always view this like this. So we can say really that next support is 36, 800, um, you know, building into that block of space. If you lose that, then you've broken the local market structure and it obviously becomes a little bit more bearish per se. So, you know, that's the way that I view the market. That's the way that I approach this market. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I let my trades just do all the, all the talking, really. Um, so managed to, this isn't actually fully closed, by the way, but took my next take profit off of that $41,000 short at $31,000, uh, which was literally uh, after we put in that low and we saw the, uh, you know, the higher low put in, decided to take profit on that. Well, obviously, simultaneously building those long positions because I recognized Hey, this is a good opportunity. Um, so yeah, this analysis is not to, you know, this analysis was just to show you what's happening in this market, show you, you know, you can, you know, you just have to be able to have the, have the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Knowledge, experience, insights, uh, intuition to recognize where to short and where to long and not you know not get bullish up at the highs not get fearful and scared down at the lows and literally trust in the analysis trust in the technicals and you know the the the, the results speak for themselves I, I truly believe that so um yeah ladies and gentlemen i hope you've enjoyed this video um as i will say if you have enjoyed i always would say smash the like button give a like uh you know, if you've enjoyed this style of video um you know leave a comment down below i do read every single comment so uh you know i, I enjoy reading the comments i don't i generally don't reply to them all because that's just impossible but i will read them all and um you know if you've enjoyed hit the likes this video way longer than what i thought i've got like a 20 minute like cap on my videos i don't ever want to do a, like a, <laughs> it's just just at the moment i cannot be doing 20 minute videos so i've kept it under 20 minutes which i'm pretty content about if you've enjoyed smash the likes if you want like the insights in the time you know these sort of harmonics you know posted in advance obviously in the champions group i literally gave a setup which was a long you know a long off of the range low so um you know i literally handed this one you know, I, I gave the idea to everybody that we're going to look for the longs <laughs> here off, off of the range low. So, you know, and that's why it's called bank stuffing trade of the week, because I believe we've stuffed some banks. Um, so, you know, if that's of interest to you, obviously, over at Chart Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've really, really enjoyed the video. 
I'm going to say thank you ever so much. If you have any questions, obviously you can come and join the Discord. But I think I've explained it okay. And, uh, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I forgot about this one. No financial advice at the end of the day. This is just an entertainment educational video only. Not telling you what to do with your money. Not anything trade or legal, um, anything like this. So just un just pause and read the disclaimer. Understand it. And um, oof. I'm happy to say my throat is recovering day by day. But uh, still, I hope you've enjoyed. And I'm, I'm just going to say... What should I say to end this one? I'll just say, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you're having as much fun as I am with this market. Thank you ever so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, and goodbye.